Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Steve, and yes, I have switched up the background just a little bit. I'm gonna have to actually do an entire studio walkthrough one of these days because I've changed it up a number of different times. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comment section below, do you guys wanna see a studio tour? Anyways, today we're talking about one of my favorite watch releases of the year, and that is the Christopher Ward Belcanto in Nero. When I initially purchased the Belcanto, I wanted to use it as my dress watch. So I went through website after website trying to find the perfect alligator strap and I stumbled across the site Veblenist and they sell handmade leather straps and it's based out of Chicago right down the street. So I was excited to support a local business while also buying a quality product. Now, like I said, they sent me these five straps and I don't have to send them back. They didn't pay me any other money to give this review. I actually just like their alligator straps and I reached out and I wanted to see if they wanted to collab on a video. So they sent the straps over and here we are. Now, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. And I know I only release a video every month or so, but hopefully when things settle down, I can start creating more and more content for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and roll that intro and get started with the video. All right, getting into the specs of the Belcanto, we have a diameter of 41.3 millimeters, a lug to lug of 47.8 millimeters, but it does have male end links, so the effective lug to lug is 52.8 millimeters, a thickness of 13.3 millimeters, a lug width of 22 millimeters. Size to my wrist, this watch weighs in at 104 grams on the bracelet. The watch head itself only weighs 53 grams. The movement is a Salita SW200 base with the FS01 jumping hour module on top. Mine is running around plus 10 seconds per day. This watch comes with 30 meters of water resistance and a domed sapphire crystal with AR coating. The MSRP on this watch is a little over $4,200 on the bracelet. The design of this watch really caught my eye. One of my grail watches is the Breguet Tradition and this has a similar layout with that floating dial on the top half of the watch and all of that ringing mechanism on that bottom half of the watch. It has a unique layout that you're not going to see on a day-to-day -day basis. So starting off at the dial plate itself, it is a sunburst dial, but it's not sunburst from the center. It actually emanates from that floating disc at the top of the watch. The Nero colorway is a dark gunmetal gray which can look black in certain lights and light gray in others. So it's going to change color slightly depending on the lighting situation. We have a fence post design for the hour and minute hands, baton indices throughout the dial with a double baton at the 12, Swiss made written on either side of the six o'clock indice. Moving down to the chiming mechanism, the bridges, hammer, and spring are all hand polished, which I find very cool. Hand finishing at this price point, especially on those small intricate pieces, awesome. One thing that I noticed is that the hammer actually resembles a bird and the beak of that bird is the red arrow indicator, which shows whether your bel canto is set to ring mode or sent to silent mode. At the four o'clock position, we have the button that engages and disengages the hammer mechanism. So if you don't want the hammer to wake you up in the middle of the night, go ahead and press that button to disengage the hammer. At the two o'clock position, we have a signed crown with the Christopher Ward dual flag logo. You're gonna use this crown to wind the watch and set the time. The case itself is made out of grade five titanium. The top of the case is vertically brushed. The side of the case is horizontally brushed and there is a polished bevel that runs along the length of the case. The bracelet, on the other hand, is made out of grade two titanium. It is vertically brushed. It tapers from 22 millimeters down to 16.5 millimeters. At the last link, we have a dual button deployant clasp with Christopher Ward branding as you open it up. It does come with quick release spring bars for easy strap changes. The titanium case back is brushed and polished held down by four screws, with the center being that ripple pattern. Now, while I love this watch, especially at the price point and what it delivers at that price point, there are a few negatives to this watch, with the biggest negative being how difficult it is to actually read the dial. And I think it's because it's an open work dial. You can see the gearing 
behind the dial. So the hands get a little lost at the three and nine o'clock positions because of the bridges and at that six o'clock position because of those exposed gears. In my opinion, they could have made the dial solid with a little bit of different texture in the middle. Another negative is that two o'clock crown. And yes, I understand why they put it there. But for me, it's a little bit difficult to hand wind and manipulate. It's not the worst crown by any means, but it is a little bit more difficult to wind it there than if it was at the three o'clock. But I do like the symmetry that it does offer with that pusher at the four o'clock. And the last negative, and this is going to be more of a user error, is that this watch can wake you up in the middle of the night. Now, I don't always put my watch away in my watch box. Sometimes I leave it out on my dresser, on my nightstand. And there have been occasions where this watch would ding on the hour, every hour in the middle of the night. And I was too lazy to get up and disengage the hammer because it was either on the other side of the room or I didn't feel like fumbling around in the middle of the night to go find it. So I just left it on and it would wake me up every hour on the hour until I finally got up. And I know I'm nitpicking a little bit, especially when it comes to that last negative because it's more of a user error, but I love this watch and I had to throw in as many cons as I could and I could only come up with three. So <laughs> there we are. Now moving on to the positives and the first thing being that design, it is so good. I love the design. While that exposed dial does lend to a difficulty in reading, it looks gorgeous. I love seeing all the exposed gears and mechanisms that go into a striking hammer watch. The polishing on the screw heads, the spring, the bridges, the gears, everything just phenomenal. And especially knowing that the hammer, spring, and bridges are hand polished and not machine polished. It just adds that little bit of flair to your piece. And honestly, I did not think you could finish titanium in this way. The polishing butted right up against that brushing. It just looks phenomenal on your wrist. And every time you turn your wrist ever so slightly, you're going to see a ton of light play on all of those reflective surfaces. Speaking of titanium, that bracelet that comes in grade two, I didn't think I was going to like. In the press images, I did not like the way it looked on the watch head. That's why in my mind, I automatically assumed that I was going to get a leather strap for it. But having it on the wrist, it feels very good. It's fluid. It fits your wrist very well. I had mine sized from Christopher Ward, and they did a bang-up job sizing it for me. The clasp is very functional and has that on-the-fly micro-adjustment system that works very well. And since it comes with quick-release spring bars, it is easy to switch out the strap for the bracelet and vice versa. And my last pro is that 4 o'clock on-off button. And yes, while I don't obviously use it enough, it is great that it's there. It functions very well. It has a good snap to it every time you engage it and disengage it. It feels solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to wear out at all. Now, the loom is a little bit of a hit and miss, right? The dial and hands are so small, there's not a lot of surface area to apply loom. But you can actually read the time better at night, at least for me. I find it very difficult to read the time at a glance during the day, but at night, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you can tell the time no matter what. So now that we talked about the Belcanto, let's go ahead and talk about Veblenist and what they offer in their straps. Initially, I bought the black alligator strap and I customize it just a bit because Veblenist does offer customization for all of their straps, which is amazing. I added curved spring bars. I made it a little bit longer than normal. There are many different options that you can do. You can add padding and things like that. I wanted to keep my strap pretty basic aside from the curved end links. After I had that strap on my wrist, I wanted to see what else they can offer. So they sent me in five different straps in a number of different colors. The straps themselves are handmade here in Chicago. They have Veblenist branding on the buckle and on the back of the strap. The leather is high quality, the stitch work is superb, and they conform to your wrist very well. Depending on the type of leather that you pick, it's gonna be a little bit more supple, maybe a little bit more rigid. For example, I have the Bordeaux calfskin strap right here, and I also have the black alligator strap right here. The alligator, obviously, it's made out of alligator, so it, it feels a little bit different than the calfskin, but the calfskin is a little bit more flexible, whereas the alligator strap is a little bit more rigid because it's authentic alligator, obviously. And like I said earlier, not only are these straps some of the highest quality straps that I've ever had on my wrist, but the customization is unparalleled. You can have straight bars or you can have curved bars. Quick release, standard. Different padding thickness, different hole placements, different lengths, 
the customization amounts are endless. It is crazy the amount of customization options they have on their website. So I would definitely recommend that you go and check them out. Well, there it is, the Christopher Ward Belcanto Nero. What do you guys think about the Belcanto? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys been woken up by your Belcantos? Do you have a Belcanto on order? Do you even like Christopher Ward? <laughs> I really want to know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out Veblenus Straps. I'll leave a link to their website in the description box below. And if you guys have bought from Veblenus before, please let me know in the comments what kind of strap did you buy and what kind of weird customizations did you include. All right, that's the video. So go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below if you want to see my mug once a month <laughs> or more. I don't know. You can keep rewatching my videos. Speaking of watching more of my videos, go ahead and watch my Christopher Ward 12 Ti Aurora Green video. That's a mouthful right here. Check it out. It's um, it was good. It was really good. I liked it a lot. Go ahead and watch it right there.